York, and this seems kind of obvious to say, but New York no longer represents the center of America. Just ask CBS, who broadcast their New Year's Eve show from Nashville, Tennessee. We are celebrating the new year with performances by the biggest names in country music. Morgan Wallen, Hardy, Leonard Skinner, Cody Johnson, Kane Brown, Brothers Osborne, Old Dominion, and guess what? More Laney Wilson. All right, it makes sense, right? People leave New York daily. 100 people a day move to Nashville. Lots of folks would rather come visit the bars and honky-tonks of Music Row than Times Square. Earlier this year, country song hit number one, two, and three on the Billboard Top 100 songs. Top 100 of all music, not just country songs. Yet, the singer of the number one song, Jason Aldean, didn't show up on CBS, oddly or maybe not so oddly. Aldean didn't sing his hit song, Try That in a Small Town, which is noteworthy, considering it was not only the number one Billboard country song, but the number one song across all music. Earlier this summer, Colby Hall, News Nation contributor, founding editor of Media Eight, joins us now. Hey, we got ratings yet for any of this for for ABC versus CBS? Uh, we have, and uh, it's interesting. CBS barely outperformed ABC in the early hours. They benefited from a ton of promotion uh, for the NFL overrun from the Chiefs Bengals game, but as the evening grew later. Uh, ABC won the sort of the, the witching hour, the last hour when the ball, bell dropped. And that makes sense given the demographics, the age, makeup. I think the Nashville CBS show skewed older and people that wanted to get their New Year's Eve viewing on got it earlier. And then the Dick Clark New Year's Eve hosted by Ryan Seacrest sort of rang in the new year with younger viewers. But to your point, the CBS show, they, they were smart. They The CBS, the country music is a growing it's it's the hottest uh, genre of music uh, out right now. Yeah, what what would Dick Clark think, right? I mean, you, you know, he what what was this sort of really wholesome family uh, entertainment that has existed for so long on New Year's Eve that he brought in, and now it's rappers and well, shall we say, not not exactly wholesome family entertainment as we reach midnight. Well, that trend started when he was still doing it, and you could tell that he was a little bit befuddled towards the end of his career. I think he'd be he'd be confused. He'd be confused by a lot of things: the internet, smartphones, uh, uh, and frankly, the sort of very segregated musical landscape. You know, I grew up at a time where you would listen to R and B next to pop songs, next to folk and country, all on the same radio station. And now it's all really sort of divvied up, and that's why when I worked at iHeart Radio uh, in the in the uh, teens last decade, country music was the was the cash cow uh, because that's where people tune in to radios. Uh, pop music and other formats typically have been left to streamers. So it's uh, I, I wouldn't say Nashville's overtaken New York or even LA, but it's certainly right there, shoulder to shoulder. So I think it says how divided we are in the way that even we come to consume music. Yeah, we're, we're divided. I mean, I, I just want to get your take. Uh, I've got only about uh, twenty seconds after this clip, but I'm going to play. Um, Anderson Cooper with John Mayer, and then get your thoughts. This is a place you can come, enjoy a drink or two, and uh, talk to cats. It's a cat bar. I mean, I don't know how much more clear I can be about the objective of this place. You, John, you are I, in I, Tokyo, I can't see Japan. Anderson, but I know exactly what he looks like. Yes, yes, yes you I'm do. Yes, you do. He's gone. What would Dick Clark think of that? Uh, Anderson Cooper giggling is uh, something that draws ratings. And this was the first time they, mm -hmm. they took a break from drinking on air. They brought back the alcohol, ergo giggling Anderson. So whole new, whole, new, whole new world. Yeah, I think it's a good point. Um, whole new year as well. Colby, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.